Jill Clayburgh, a well-known Hollywood actress, really stood out to me with her special mix of charisma and deep acting skills. An interesting fact about her is that she started her career on Broadway, showing her wide range of abilities beyond movies. I'm curious about your most memorable moment or personal experience with this iconic actress. Please share your stories and memories in the comments. Keep an eye out for more about her life, including many humorous, surprising, and sad details. Jill Clayburgh was born in New York City, a place known for its dynamic art scene. Her family was well-connected, with her father holding a prominent position in the manufacturing industry and her mother working as a theatrical production secretary. Growing up in such an environment, she was exposed to the arts from a young age, which played a significant role in nurturing her passion for acting. Her early life was marked by a blend of conventional education and artistic exposure. She attended prestigious schools where she received a well-rounded education. Simultaneously, her family's involvement in the arts meant that she frequently encountered the theater world. This unique combination of a solid academic foundation and early exposure to the performing arts was instrumental in shaping her career path. Her transition to acting was a natural progression, fueled by her early experiences and passion for the stage. It's notable that she didn't immediately leap into film, but instead honed her skills in theater, a medium that demands a strong foundation in acting. This stage experience not only sharpened her skills, but also gave her a depth of understanding of characters, which later became a hallmark of her performances in film. In summary, her birth in a culturally rich city, the influence of her family's connections to the arts, and her balanced education all played crucial roles in her journey to becoming an esteemed actress. Her start on Broadway before transitioning to film highlights her dedication to mastering her craft from the ground up. Jill Clayburgh had a successful acting career recognized with many awards. She started in the 1950s, focusing on theater work. Her most important achievements came later. She was nominated for the Best Actress Academy Award for her role in An Unmarried Woman in 1978. Her performance in this movie was highly praised and showed with her strong acting skills. In 1979, she got another Academy Award nomination for Best Actress for the movie Starting Over. These consecutive nominations proved her talent and her ability to handle different types of roles. Besides the Academy Awards, she received recognition at various film festivals and ceremonies. She was celebrated for her performances in many categories, showing her skill and the respect she gained from other actors. She was also successful on television, getting nominations and awards for her work in TV movies and series. This success in both movies and TV show with her wide range of acting abilities. Throughout her career, she was a well-respected and admired figure in the entertainment world. Her awards and nominations show her commitment to acting and her influence in this field. Her journey from theater to movies, along with the awards she received, tells the story of an actress who was not only skilled in her craft, but also made a lasting impression on her audience and fellow actors. In her personal life, she experienced significant milestones that were intertwined with her career. At the age of 41, a time when she was already established in her profession, she welcomed her second child, a son named Michael Rabe. The father of her child is David Rabe, her husband. This event marked a joyful expansion of her family life alongside her professional achievements. Her education played a crucial role in shaping her career. After completing her high school education, she pursued higher studies at Sarah Lawrence College, a well-known institution for its strong arts programs. In 1966, she earned a bachelor's degree in theater, a field that deeply interested her and laid the foundation for her future in acting. This academic background provided her with a comprehensive understanding of the art, contributing significantly to her later success on both stage and screen. Her commitment to her career was evident even during her pregnancy. While expecting her son Michael, she continued her work, completing the filming of Where Are the Children in 1986. Her dedication to her profession during this time highlighted her ability to balance her personal life with her demanding career. These aspects of her life show a woman who managed to blend her personal milestones with a flourishing career seamlessly. Her educational background in theater, the joy of motherhood at a later stage in her life, and her unwavering dedication to her craft, even during pregnancy, demonstrate her strength and commitment both personally and professionally.
She improved her acting skills at HB Studio in Greenwich Village, New York City, focusing on drama. This training was crucial for her to develop her distinctive acting style. In her personal life, she became the stepmom to Jason Rabe, which added a new aspect to her life. She managed to juggle her career and family life, showing how a working mother in the showbiz world can succeed. During the 1970s, she became well-known. This was a time when actresses like Jane Fonda and Diane Keaton were changing the movie industry. She played roles that were intelligent, independent, and strong, matching the new views on women during that time. But her movie career slowed down when the public lost interest in feminist themes around the time Ronald Reagan became president. This shift in what people like to watch was a big change in her career, showing how changes in society and politics can affect the entertainment world. Her journey in acting, from her early training to playing different roles, shows her flexibility and commitment to acting. Even though her career had ups and downs, her role in movies and theater during an important time for women in cinema was crucial. Digging into her family history, she was the daughter of Albert, who was born in New York in the late 19th century, and Alma Clayburg from Pennsylvania. This background brought together influences from New York and Pennsylvania, adding to her varied heritage. Her great-grandparents, Emmanuel from Germany and Eveline Clayburg, a New Yorker, also added to this mix of cultures. These diverse roots may have helped shape her outlook and artistic style. Her mother, Julia Clayburg, played an important role in the theater world as a production secretary for the famous David Merrick. Growing up close to the theater likely gave her a special understanding of the performing arts. Her father, Albert Clayburg, was an industrial textile salesman, which might have given her a more practical view of life. The mix of her mother's artistic background and her father's business sense might have helped her be both practical and creative in her acting career. This combination of artistic and down-to-earth influences in her early life likely had a big impact on her as a person and an actress. It created a balanced environment, helping her grow both creatively and realistically. This might have helped her play a wide variety of characters, appealing to many different people. Her family's history and her parents' careers gave her a rich array of experiences and viewpoints, aiding in her development as an actress who could connect with a broad audience. This foundation probably helped her succeed in the ever-changing and challenging acting world, allowing her to leave a lasting impression in film and theater. Jill Clayburgh's brother Jim also had a connection to acting and arts, adding a personal touch to her career. An interesting moment in her career was when she chose not to take the lead role in Norma Ray, a film from the late 1970s. Sally Field played the part instead and won an Oscar for it. This shows how unpredictable decisions in Hollywood can really impact an actor's path. She passed away from the same illness as her character in the 1970s film Griffin and Phoenix. This similarity between her real life and her role in the movie makes her performance even more meaningful. She showed with the struggles of her character without knowing she would face the same challenges later in life, highlighting her talent and sincerity as an actress. Her life and career, with its choices, surprising twists, and her health struggles reflect the complex and uncertain life of an actor. Her decisions, roles, and personal experiences made her journey in film and theater unique. Understanding these parts of her life helps us see her as not just an actress, but as a person with a rich story.